got that magazine you wanted. Thanks. Nice to go out to dinner every now and then. Busy's not expecting us for another hour. Maybe we should do something crazy. Let's go up to Summit Hill and make out. Great. Actually, I heard that area's not so safe anymore. Yeah, and I had the garlic shrimp. I miss Zoe. Let's go home. Well. I hope Busy and Zoe had a nice time. We're so lucky to have Busy. Oh, yeah. When we're out, it really relaxes me to know Zoe's in good hands. Can I help you? Uh, we're looking for our daughter? Busy, your parents are here. No, our daughter is Zoe. We're the McPhersons. Oh, right. Please, come in. Thank you. Oh, hi, Mr. and Mrs. Mack. This is my boyfriend. Boyfriend? Oh, you must be Johnny. Busy told me about you. Yeah, well, I'm out of here. Rebound, Biz. <laughs> 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 Bye, guy. Change never. Busy, you didn't tell us your boyfriend was going to be here. Yeah, and don't tell my mom. She still thinks he's in juvie. Excuse me, I have to go uh, count some things. Johnny seems friendly. He's okay. I don't know. I kind of hate all men. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Mac, you don't count. Thanks again. What's wrong, honey? Would a drive help you sleep? Oh, can I buy my ride? I'm meeting some friends at a club. Sure. Let me just ditch my bra. <clears throat> Bouncer lets me in free. That still works. Like two charms. Wanda, I don't like this one bit. We paid busy to babysit Zoe, not entertain some Fonzie wannabe. Daryl, it's busy. We've known her since she was a Girl Scout. Yeah, well, I think some parts of the oath may have slipped her mind. Well, I trust her completely. And who doesn't cut loose a little in high school? <laughs> hey, come on, guys. That's my sousaphone. Yeah, those were wild times. She's asleep. Ah, I know you probably won't understand, Busy, but there's no sight more exciting than your own child sleeping. Yeah, you're right. Don't understand. Here we are. Xerxes? Didn't this used to be photosynthesis? It's been Xerxes forever, like three months. I've never heard of that band. Uh, it's not a band, it's a guy. Roadkill Hoagie? He's Dutch. I used to know all this stuff. When did I get so out of the loop? Welcome, Wanda McPherson. Wh where am I? You are in the present a brave new world that has reached the apex of civilization. Since you gave birth, our planet has witnessed many changes. There are now two Starbucks on every corner. The internet has been replaced by a highly advanced text access device called the Yellow Pages. Finally, the Republican and Democratic parties have been replaced by, respectively, Big Business and Big Business. Are you okay, Mrs. Mack? Oh, sorry. It's just that things are changing so fast. Yeah, menopause must suck. See ya! So, where haven't we fooled around? How about the kitchen counter? Good idea. It'll be that much easier to eat their food and drink their liquor. Have you seen the baby? Don't worry. I put her in a safe place. I think you about got that bush, Daryl. Huh? 
You got something on your mind? Hey, Dad, is it okay if You I... wait for me to start talking so you can interrupt? But you said I had to ask permission if I was gonna do something dangerous. Is it gonna kill you? Me? No. Then quit bothering me! Ah! What were we talking about? Oh, our babysitter's got this new boyfriend, and I'm worried about Zoe. Uh-huh. What's your wife think? She says I'm paranoid. That's what they say when they're in on it. If only there was some way I could know what's going on while we're not home. Come with me. Carl, would you mind telling me what we're doing? Consolidating our power, Daryl. For truly, information is power. Follow me. What is this? My own private central intelligence agency. I've installed hidden cameras throughout the house to monitor the comings and goings of my loved ones. Let's see what the wife's up to. Don't you trust Melinda? Not as much as I trust the Banica micro eye. Yeah, I want to order the Cheese Maker 2000. The inventor himself just demonstrated it on the Cheese Maker 2000 talk show, and the audience was very excited. Well, I don't know. What colors does it come in? Oh, cheddar yellow. That sounds pretty. Credit card number eight. Yeah, this is Carl Bitterman. Uh, I'm afraid we lost our credit card again. Uh, no, 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 thank you. Cancelled? What do you mean, cancelled? I tell you, this place pays for itself. Carl, I can't believe you spy on your own family. Just level on the playing field. Hello, what's this? Dad's gonna have a little surprise next time you mows the lawn. <laughs> Ham in... Lawnmower. So what? I'm supposed to wire my house with cameras? Depends. Does your secret room have a fiber optic platform with XL network switches? I don't even have a secret room. <laughs> I don't even have a secret room. Wow. According to your voice pattern, you're telling the truth. Well, that makes it hard, but not impossible. A teddy bear? That lazy eye? It's a video camera. Just turn it on and walk away. I don't know, Carl. Daryl, this is about your daughter's well-being. It's not like we do this for kicks. Hey, isn't that our bedroom? Nope. If, I had a million dollars, if, I had if you're looking for show tunes, ma'am, they're on aisle three. I'm fine. We have a just-released collection of Broadway gems. No, thank you. Sung by Miss Julie Andrews. I just want the new Roadkill Hoagie CD. Yes, ma'am. How would you like that gift wrap? Why would I want a gift wrap? Well, I just assume it was for someone else. It's for me. Buried in the basement, starting to smell. Buried in the basement, please don't tell her you'll be buried in the basement. Think I'm in love. Buried Hi. in the... Oh, Daryl, I got such a wake-up call last night. What do you mean? Can you name one top 40 album? Sure. Barney's Sleepy Time Songs, Elmo Palooza. Adult top 40. Oh, uh, no. Exactly. Since Zoe was born, it's like we've been in a cave. But we're parents now. It's okay not to know that stuff. Well, it's not okay for me. I want to reconnect. I need stimulation. We joined the zoo. That's not enough. You don't know. You get to go to an office every day and interact with adults. Hey, Captain. Walcott's got a booger on his tie. I'm there. It does keep you sharp. Well, I've hired Busy to come in a couple of afternoons a week. Busy, huh? I'm going to take a class, go to the gym. Do you think Johnny will come with her? I don't know. Probably. Probably. So, when's your first day? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. What time? Oh, uh, 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock. That's 1,500 hours, right? Uh huh? It's for Zoe. Walk and shoes, Captain. Walcott's got a piece of spinach in his teeth. Hey, what's this? Nothing. Said the guy who just pulled a videotape out of a teddy bear. It's none of your business, Kenny. Please! No! I'll be your best friend. I'm sorry to say you may already be that. Come on! Our babysitter's got a boyfriend, and I'm afraid she's not paying attention to Zoe. So you spied on him. All right! Hey! Hot teenagers getting it on. It'll be like watching the WB. Hi-ho, the dairy the farmer in the dell. <laughs> Okay, I'll sing it again, but you have to eat your veggies. <laughs> She's incredible. What a babysitter. She plays, she interacts. She keeps her clothes on. I blew off a focus group for this. Hey, Busy, 
What do you say we find out if this couch folds out? Whoa, warm up the pause button. Ah, get off me, you jerk. But I got needs. Yeah, well, go suck a binky. I'm watching the baby. The baby's fine! <laughs> In your face, punk. Hi. Oh, hi, Mrs. Mac. Let me get my stuff. <sighs> Show's over. Wanda was right about busy all along. I will never doubt my wife again. So, you must work out a lot. Today was the first time since Zoe was born. You're kidding. Well, I gotta figure there's a surrogate mother out there carrying the birth weight. Oh, well, I try. You're not just trying. You are succeeding. Oh. <laughs> Hello? You look like you work out a lot, too. You be the judge. My goodness. <laughs> I know that giggle. That's her first date giggle. Hey, looks like that guy's taking care of your baby. You look like you work out a lot, too. You be the judge. My goodness. <laughs> that didn't mean anything. Let's believe that or blow your brains out. Wanda was just being friendly. So was Mrs. Robinson. You're crazy. Yeah, well, riddle me this, Captain. Has your wife been acting different lately? Well, she has been talking about needing excitement. Excellent. Reconnecting with the world. Perfect. Quit talking like a Batman villain. So, you gonna confront her? Oh, that's a good idea. I'll just say, hey, honey, I saw the darndest thing today on my hidden spy camera. Well, I would at least keep an eye on the situation. I'm not gonna spy on my own wife. You've got the technology. No, no, I'm returning this to Carl, because I'm not like you, Kenny. I trust people. So, uh, what you humming there? Oh, new song. Roadkill Hoagie? No, Scissor Bitch. Johnny turned me on to them. Johnny turned you on, huh? Oh, Daryl, these few hours a week mean so much. I was feeling like the adventurous part of my life was over, but now there are exciting new experiences around every corner. You wanted to see me, Mrs. Gordon? Yes, Conrad. It's about your grades. They've been bad. Is this 90210? Nah, I don't watch that anymore. They got too old. Look, I'm gonna be late for football practice. Okay if I change here? Oh, please. Shh. Mrs. Gordon, are you sure there's not some way I could get extra credit? Ooh, I heard this was good. You know, I could have a body like that if I was some dead-brained teenager who sat around all day doing bicep curls while he watched cartoons. But I got responsibilities. I got a wife and family to support. Stupid show. Who put a quarter in you? Oh, and I thought I was the teacher. Oh, to thank Busy for this week, I said we'd take her and Johnny out to dinner tomorrow. Hey, great. We can talk about blackheads and make out in the high jump pit. Fine, don't come. So, where's Busy? She couldn't make it either. I'll come. And the lumberjack said, that takes care of my hiccups. Now who's gonna inflate this thing? <laughs> <laughs> that was a joke you were trying to tell him, about, right, Daryl? Yeah, I remember the punchline now. What a terrific restaurant, Johnny. Well, I'm always looking to try new things. Grow or die, that's my creed. <laughs> oh, what's wrong, sweetie? Are you hungry? I got it. Wanda, what are you doing? We're in a restaurant. I've fed Zoe in restaurants before. Not when we have company. I'm sure nobody minds. Don't we live in an exciting time? So many of the old taboos falling away. Yeah, well, let me tell you something, kid. Some of those quote-unquote taboos hold our society together. Morality, fidelity, discretion. May I take a your order? He'll have the soapbox. <laughs> well, Zoe and I need to powder our noses. Me too. Let me carry that for you. Thank you. Thank you for that smile. <laughs> Something's going on. Huh? Johnny's getting ready to move on. What makes you think that? There are signs. Usually he's real romantic, you know, holding hands, copping feels. I bet he's seeing someone else. <laughs> <laughs> We're back. Daryl, guess what? I'm going for a motorcycle ride tomorrow. Your wife told me she'd never been on one, so I offered to take her for a ride.
How'd you know? I've got my sources. <sighs> so we come over the rise to the 16th green, and there's my ball, 12, 12 and a half feet from the cup. Hello? Huh? Oh, sorry. You weren't listening to a word I said. <sighs> okay. On the first tee, I pull out my three wood. Kenny, do you think I'm boring? No, but I'll think you're rude if you keep interrupting my very interesting golf story. But if you were a woman, would you find me stimulating? Uh, Daryl? Cubicle? Walls don't reach the ceiling? Well, well, if it isn't the odd man out. I don't need you right now, Rodney. That motorcycle guy was here earlier. Kinda handsome, isn't he? He's just a boy. A boy can remind a woman she was once a girl. Where do you get this stuff? I think your wife said it to my mom. <laughs> uh, just gets easier and easier. Daryl, is that you? Yeah, how was your day? Great, I made... Hey, I forgot some of the office. Be back soon, bye. Tacos. Hey, Mr. Mac! Hmm? Could you go by the mall? Busy, how long have you been out there? Uh, a couple miles. Why? So, how's it going? Fan-sucky-tastic. Yeah, I know the feeling. Mr. Mac, how do you know if someone really loves you? Well, I guess they make you feel like you're special. They stick by you when things get tough. Now, you know what? You can't ever really know. In the end, giving your heart to someone is just a huge leap of faith. Stop the car. Hey, Teresa! Recognize me? Take that! How's the pavement feel, huh, sweetie? A huge leap of faith. I'm not gonna watch this. Exciting. It does get the blood moving. Oh, Busy must have taken Zoe to the park. You want something to drink? I think that's a good idea. Loosen us up a little bit. Set the mood. Here you go. Cheers. Thank you so much for today, Johnny. You're welcome. So, is your husband home? He's at work. What do you... <clears throat> what do you say we find out if this couch folds out? Uh, I already know if it folds out or not. I bought it. You know, Johnny, after a woman has a baby, she's very insecure, and the attention of a young man means a lot. But I'm married to a wonderful man, and for Busy's sake, you should try to be such a man. Do you understand? We're not going to do it? Right. Blas the Well, that's good. Well, this regne needs a tick. Did you get what you needed? Turns out I didn't need it after all. Hey, let's say you pack those up and we go on a picnic. Where? Well, I don't know. Someplace new, someplace old. Who cares, as long as we're together? Well, okay. What's that for? I just love you. <laughs> That's really sweet. <laughs> 